Hello everyone and welcome back to Nordhagen Village. Good to be back. Woohoo, yeah, it feels like it's been a while since I've been here. Probably because I haven't been here since last episode. <laughs> so anyways, um, before I started recording this, I did do a few things. I planted some plants here. I got rid of all of the gourds and decided to make it a little bit more tidy. Make it look a little bit more like a yard. So that's what I did. I planted a few new fruit trees too. Oh, so I forgot a gourd. Anyways, so it just looks a little bit more like somebody's yard. And I also started decorating. I saw a death call once. It was far away, but I saw it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already told you. Anyway, okay, so I started decorating these things. I've only gotten one mostly done. It's not completely done. Um, I haven't put any like clutter in here, just furniture. So, just a basic thing. I, I put a, mm, a floor up there so that I could use that area for storage. Thought it was kind of a nice little thing to do for such a tight space. And then, uh, of course, I have to put stuff on these shelves still. You know, belongings of the person who lives here. But anyway, that is one done. The others have not been... And I have not touched them at all, so... Yeah. Anyways, that is what I have done. I really haven't done anything else other than figure out what I'm going to build today. And also... Um, I keep meaning to put a boat out in the water. And I know a few of you keep telling me <laughs> that I need to do that. And I figured it out several episodes ago. I figured out how to do it. And I meant to do it. But then I kept forgetting. I'd start building. And then I would forget. And then the episode would be over. And I would just completely forget. So I'm going to do that now. And it was quite a few episodes ago that I put these posts on the docks too. And never showed you guys because I completely forgot that I did it. So anyway, yeah, I put some posts on the docks just to make them look a little bit I don't know, different. So I'm going to put a boat and I'm probably going to put it, I don't know, like, like out here or somewhere. I'm actually, let me just check and see where the settlement border is. I don't know if I can put it out on this side, but I might be able to put it right here between these two docks. Make it look like they actually use it and that it's like waiting to be loaded up with stuff or something like that. Anyways, um, all right, so, oh, never mind that water thingy. I forgot to take that away. I was just experimenting and forgot to remove it. <clears throat> all right, we got to find the boat now. This is on structures, isn't it? Miscellaneous. Yes. Oh, wait. Vehicles. It would be under vehicles. They re- this, The newest update for this mod um, categorized everything, which I think is just awesome. I got kind of tired of scrolling through everything just to find something that was on the very opposite end of the list. If you have this mod, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so boat. There we go. This boat. Now, this boat, uh, you can't actually, or maybe, I don't know, this boat looks a little too big to, to fit right there, actually. Maybe we should just do a rowboat, come to think of it. This boat is probably too large. It would be a tight fit. Not an impossible fit, though. It wouldn't be impossible. It would fit there, but it would be a tight, tight one. Actually, no. The uh, the tires are clipping on one or the other sides. It would need to go out here, but that's beyond the settlement boundary. Um. So I don't know. Maybe I'd do a, a rowboat. Oh, where'd the rowboat go? I know they had one. Did they get put in something else? It's not... I don't know. It's 
so I don't know. Um, what if I'd be able to stick it out like this? Well, we can try it. I, I have a feeling it's too big though, and so I'll probably just do the rowboat instead. So we gotta get this up here, and um, you can't stick them in the water. You need to use a a post to glitch it in. Just move this out of the way. It's that one is constantly in the way, <laughs> and so are you, Nick. Hey. I'm all ears. Go over there. Head over there. Can do. <clears throat> so. That's good. Wait there. All right. I don't know if this will work. Um, I tested it with the rowboat before, so. Um, here's my post. Okay. Let's try it. Put this at the back. And we gotta put it. As low as I can. Actually, I might want to use two. Now that I think of it. Just to get it as low as possible. Let me uh, let me get another one. I don't know if I'll need to, but it'll be better than okay, come on, show up already. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of I mean, my, my frame rate's starting to get a little slow here. And I'm also... It takes a while for my menus to show up and stuff. Because we've built quite a lot here. <laughs> Alright. Now, I don't know... Oh, wrong side. Oh, but... Hmm, I wonder if we could put it on this side. That actually... I wonder... Actually, that might be better. Only it's not working. It was working before, but you no, know, it's my it's my second post. It's not letting it sink as far as it needs to. So it's not as deep as I thought it was. I thought it was deeper than that. So I don't need the second post after all. No, is it not going to work again? Still? Maybe it's sticking out. Oh, oh, come on. I'm getting hungry already? I just ate right before I started recording so that it wouldn't interrupt my video. And no. Oh. Okay. It will work. It's just got to be... See, it's... Here it's sticking too far outside the build zone. So if I stick it right here, it'll work. Oh, you're kidding me. We're going to have some bad weather. So I don't think it'll go right here because it's too... Uh, big. It's too big. It won't fit right here. So I can put it over here. Oh, come on. Weather... Make it as I'm just it's hard to see. And now it's gonna be even harder to see. <sighs> because it's hard to see with the rain the way it is. Okay. Hard to see what I'm doing. Now let's just get the menu back open here. Okay. Okay. Maybe if I get back far enough. Alright, so it'll go here. 
I wonder if it will look funny in front of the windows then in the building. If you can get it, I want it so it's in the water far enough, but not so that water is sticking up, you know, inside the boat. And let's get it as close as we can to the dock so it looks like it's moored here. And let's see what that looks like. Looks like it's floating. My post is down there. Oops, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I think, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to get on it. No, but I'm in the water now. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize there were so many uh, cartons. And, oh, look, there's a, a s squish, uh, crash plane. <laughs> I didn't even know all that was under there. Hey, look, my floating docks. They don't look like they're floating from, from you know, down there. From up here, I mean. Oh! I almost made it. Now I'm stuck. Ugh. Oh. Come on, open the menu. There. No, 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 just... Okay. Well, I need to put some stairs down here, I think. Okay. See if I can get my post. All right. Well, anyways, what do you guys think of that? Hmm? Let's go inside. Kind of blocks the view a little bit. Not, not just a whole lot. I mean, it's kind of cool. There's a boat out there. I can put some crates and stuff on it, maybe. I don't know, possibly. And then it'll look like it's going somewhere, you know? They're going to run some stuff over to the castle or something. They'll run some stuff somewhere. You know, supplies. Anyway, all right. Let's go do something else. Tell me what you guys think. Okay. And also, I could probably still put a rowboat right here. Um, let me see. Where are the rowboats, though? They're under... Decorations... Are they under decorations, maybe? Barrels and boxes. Books, clutter... Garage, gardening, hospital, institute, mannequins, military, office, retail, rock, skeletons, bodies. No. I mean, I don't know where they would go. Where they would... I wonder if they're still under miscellaneous. Or are they even in decorations at all? They're not under special. Huh. Because I, I thought they would be... Well, maybe they're in miscellaneous still. I know all of the uh, items have not been put in... Oh, there it is. Yeah. All of the items haven't been categorized yet, and they're still in miscellaneous. All right. Well, why don't we do that? Let's put a boat. Just a rowboat. Regular old rowboat out there. Okay. <clears throat> we can put it closer to that side so it's let's, let's get it the right height I want. I can't see if it's the right height when it's green it's too glowy should be like that
Does that look about right? The right height? Looks, looks, looks about right to me. Yeah? These boats don't bob on the waves like uh, the vanilla boats, the boats that were already in the game. They're kind of stuck in place. And all the boats that were already in the game bob up and down, like the ones at Libertalia. Okay. Anyways, there's that. I'd like to know what you guys think of that. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we are going to build... Today we are going to build a water purification and little sort of bottling kind of shed. I've already got the foundation started right here because this is where I want to put it. Okay. And oh, you know what? I just realized I forgot to get... Hold on a second. I forgot to get my Q&A questions ready to read. Um, forgot to get them out. So I need to do that real quick. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I should read those while we build here. Now this is going to be um, just a small thing. I'm going to put a bunch of um, water pump things. Um, not those. These ones in it. And I'm going to make a row of them right here. And then uh, we're going to build a building kind of around it. Anyways, I'll show you. Just need to get this the right height. I want this to be the same height as the floor. There. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a few in a row. I think one per section of the floor will fit here. And they each produce 10 water, so that should be way more than enough water for the entire settlement. The history of the entire settlement, because I don't plan on having just a whole lot of settlers here. I mean, you know, enough, but not like oh, an over, over amount, over whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Anyways, let's let's do a question, and uh, the first one or the next one rather is someone says on my first playthrough of Skyrim, I once saw a mammoth spawn about fifty meters up in the air, fall down, and kill both itself and the mammoth it landed on. Have you any similar hilarious glitch experiences? Not just with, with Skyrim, but any game. Well, yeah. I've got the mammoth one, too, a few times. That one was, uh, yeah. Pretty common. Um, at least in my game it was. Okay, those don't want to go close to each other. I know. I can get it closer, though. If I go this way. Yes, I've had quite a few funny glitches. Uh, <laughs> you know, not nothing like major, but I've had the mammoth one. Um, I don't know if you guys have, have seen the one where, like, in Skyrim you're smithing and your character holds the iron bar at the hot end. <laughs> so, so weird looking. And I've got that one. And the guy who carries all the firewood in uh, Whiterun. And he's got like a whole bunch of board the logs attached to him. And he's like walking around with them all stuck to his arms and stuff. I got that one a few times. And in, in, in Fallout 4, well, there was one with McCready the other day in my Let's Play. If you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Maybe I'll have to adjust these. I should probably put this one in first and then and then move the others over to get close to it because they seem to not want to get close. 
um, from this direction. Okay. Let's get a little closer. There we go. That looks good. No, not that one. They don't have to, like, be super perfect, but I would like them to to be at least touching each other. Hmm. I... I wonder. Take that one off for now. There we go. Sometimes the order you put things in just really, really matters. Alright, that looks good to me. And oh, what else? What other ones have I seen? It's hard to remember them, actually. I do have some, like, I, I try to take pictures. Oops. No. <laughs> Don't jump when you're near something that can give you power. That needs to be powered. Um, I... I try to take pictures or video of glitches when I see them happening because I never remember them all. But of course, I still don't remember them all, even after I take pictures of them. But I have like a whole folder full of pictures of glitches. I should make a video on just all the glitches I've seen. <laughs> Some of them are videos. Okay, there we go. We got four um, water pumps. Okay. Now let's build the building that they are going to that's going to enclose them. So, I am going to use uh, a mod. I know this this is the unlocked settlement objects mod, in case you were wondering. And I know um, these kind of look I like this one. It looks like cut stone. I mean, it, it is cut stone, but I like... It's really rough looking. Like, they might have just found these blocks lying around, and they use them, you know? Yeah. So, I know they're not very thick. They're not as thick as a stone would be, but they don't have one in the, uh, at least as of this, the making of this video, they might have one later, they don't have one with this, um, print on it in the, uh, concrete tab. At least I don't think they do. But actually, I didn't want to make this with concrete tab. I tried making it with the concrete tab with a different, um, texture. But it just looks stupid. And I just didn't want to do it. The only problem with this, using these walls, is that there are no door pieces that, that will match it. But I'm okay with that. I can just use a, a shack. You know, and just make it look a little bit... Uh, I don't know. Scrappy. <laughs> now, I'm going to be putting for the um, instead of stairs, I'm going to put a ramp because, um, because of the way that, I, I don't know, I just had an idea. I can get a ramp up there. I don't know if that's even touching. It's not. I don't even know if I can get it to touch. Mm, I can get it pretty close. It's not straight. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably good. Okay. There we go. That's good. That's close enough. Okay. So. Um. Right. I'm gonna get a roof on here now. Um. And I will also read the next question. I'm sorry, I don't have... I can't recall a lot of those uh, glitches. 
So, sorry about that. I... I wish I could. Um, let me see. I just realized that I'm out of wood. <laughs> I'm completely out of wood, so I'll just try to use some pieces that I already have made. So, some... Um, shack upper floors, even though I wanted to use just a regular um, well, except you can't actually put the regular floors up there and I don't have the oh no I have two of these maybe I'll use this instead I didn't want the floors to stick up I didn't want to stick up that high so I'll use these I'm not going to use these as final roof pieces because I don't like how many holes they have and rain pours right through those ones I'm going to put another roof on I'm going to put Hopefully, if I have the, uh, if I have enough of them. Oh, I do. I have two of them. What do you know? <laughs> I'm going to put some of these up there. Like so. <clears throat> One time I was in Skyrim and I was just going along and I encountered a posse of deer. It looked like they were waiting for somebody. I'll put up a picture of it. Yeah. It was like a gang of deer. And they looked intimidating. And I was like, whoa, what's up with you guys? You know? It's funny. I don't know if that was a glitch, but they stood there. And they would not move. I even tried, like, scaring them off. I walked right up to them and they were just all standing there staring at me. It was funny. Okay, this... Oh, well. It's not... I can't get it right on the... I can't get it straight. Don't you hate it sometimes when, like, you know, you try to... You, you, you highlight something, it turns completely green. It's so glowy and green that you can't see what you're doing. Does anyone else get annoyed with that? I sure do. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna just call that good enough because it's just too... Too... Too, too, too. But look how crooked it is. No, this is gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Is that good? It's too glowy. I can't tell until I let go of it. No, look, it's off. And it won't go green. There. It'll only be green while I'm moving it, not when it's standing still. Isn't that stupid? Okay, I think that's better. Alright, good. I'm going to call it good. <laughs> now, hopefully I have... Um, hopefully I have the... Uh, end pieces. I hopefully have enough end pieces made. I didn't realize it was out. Well, look. <laughs> I have two of these. I'm so lucky I have enough. And now I'm going to do something else for the back end of this. So don't worry. I'm not done. I'm not forgetting this end of it. I'm just going to do something different. All right, but first I'm going to read the next question. But what do you guys think so far? It's, I'm, I like the different tabs uh, mixing together. I think it just looks makes it look interesting. Yeah. And I wanted it to be a, a stone or concrete kind of building because it's dealing with water. And, you know, you don't want it to rot because it got wet a lot or, you know, whatever. I just, I thought it would be fun to do it this way. Now, um, gotta go over here to, ah, to do the next part. Now, the next part is also from the same mod, the Unlock Settlement Objects mod, and it's in the metal tab at the far end. Luckily, I don't need wood to build them. Uh, these. And, uh, you saw, if you watched my... Um, my 
video on uh, building the hub at County Crossing. We'll see how I used those there. I'm going to do the same thing here. These don't snap on, so I have to use the pillar to get them in. And while I'm doing this, I'll read another question, okay? So, the next question is, will you ever build a vault above ground? The answer to that is no. I don't like the look of above ground vaults. Um, actually, I'll probably never ever build a vault again. It was fun. It was fun for a while. Oh wait, before I put this on here, um, I need to extend the roof out over this. I forgot to do that part. So I'm going to use the this roof and I don't know, just just to be different because I'm using these things on the side here so I might as well, right? Okay. And now I need to stick this up against the roof up against the wall. Hopefully get it straight. Yeah, no, I am not, um, I'm not, <laughs> I don't like the vault. I actually don't like it. The only reason why I finished it, or am going to even finish it, is because of this channel and you guys. Because you guys want to see the end, the finished piece of it, you know? I don't care about the vault. I actually got so sick to death of it that I just... I do not care. If I was building it for my own pleasure, I would completely abandon it. I just don't care. I'm only, yeah, like I said, I'm only building it for you guys. And don't worry, I know a lot of people are constantly asking me, when are you going to do the vault tour? When is the final vault tour? Still, they're still asking me. It will be around when I'm done with it. It's a lot of work. I cannot, oh, it is so much work, you guys. I regret not decorating it as I went. I was trying to save it all for last because um, at the time I didn't have the OC decorator and I, I didn't want to risk build, uh, you know, setting stuff out and then having it all fall down. I didn't want to risk it, so I... I didn't. I saved it for last so that it would all just be in place. Wouldn't but I, I, I needn't have worried though. Um, I, nothing would fall in the vault because it's an interior cell and it doesn't have the same loading issues that the outside world has. So I needn't have worried, but it's too late. I didn't know that at the time. You know, I treated it as any other settlement and waited until the last minute to decorate. <clears throat> I've been decorating it. A lot of it is finished, but not all of it. And it's getting dark. Okay. Um, I will be right back. The mod I have, the this um, weather mod, I can't remember what it's called, uh, makes it darker. And it also increases the speed at which it gets dark, and I don't like that part about it. Uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, there. Now I can actually see that I got that not straight. It was not um, to the edge, and so it will have a gap. That's not the wind blowing, is it? I literally just made the weather clear before I started recording again. Literally seconds ago. Because it was foggy when I woke up. And now it's going to rain. And now I have to do another one. Those stupid coastal villages. Coastal settlements. Just the rain and everything is so annoying. Anyway, people are going to ask me, why don't you just get a clear weather mod? Because I'm still playing my game in my Let's Play and stuff, and I don't want it to be the same weather constantly. I'm also testing a weather mod right now for later review, and I need to be able to have it in order to test it. I need to have it active. So, that's why. But I have the clear weather fireworks, and they work just fine. 
so. Oh, I got the other one off. The other one isn't, um... The other, uh, side? It's sticking out the other end too far. That is why I'm having trouble. Okay, well, I'll fix that one too. I want to get this right underneath. Oh. Oh. It actually doesn't look bad, does it? It's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna need to redo this one. Okay, what was I talking about? Right, I was going to read the next question. So, no, uh, well, to sum up the last one, no, I'm not going to build a, a vault above ground. I am going to not ever build a vault again. I don't like it. <clears throat> and I am working, I'm still working on my vault. Uh, 80, vault 88. And it will be out when it's done, when I'm done decorating it. It's just uh, time, very, very time consuming is all. But I haven't stopped working on it. I haven't forgotten about it. Sorry it's taken so long, you guys. I had no idea it was going to take this long. Look at how fast it got foggy. Look at that. It's like somebody turned on the fog switch. It is this weather mod that I'm using. I think that's affecting it a little bit. Alright. What? These, these things must be slightly longer, they are, than a regular board length. I think this little section right here is extra. But normally you can overlap them. Oh well, that's fine. I'm gonna use up all of my mortars. Anyway, I'll read the next question now. So, what are your thoughts on the Assassin's Creed movie coming out December 21st? <laughs> Ah, this was asked before it's December 21st. I'm sorry it took so long to answer it. But now you get to hear what I thought of the movie because I've actually seen it. And at the time, when you asked this question, I hadn't seen it yet. Of course, it wasn't out yet. Um, and I would have just told you that I'm excited to watch it. <laughs> now I can tell you actually what I thought of it. Um, I'll try to keep it spoiler free. Oh, you know what? I need to... But I will give you my honest opinion. Without spoilers, okay? I'll try to. <laughs> no, no, really, I won't spoil the story for you, but I will probably spoil your desire to go watch it. You have got to be kidding me! It's already getting weather, bad weather again. That is just ridiculous. Okay, I think there is a... It's colliding with that... Um, it's colliding with the, the pump, the water pump in there. So that's going to have to stick out a little farther than the others. Fortunately. But it actually is just right. No, so yeah. Okay, so the Assassin's Creed movie. It was cool. Um, I know uh, a lot of you probably have seen it already and are actually curious what I think. Um, I did mention on Twitter what I thought of it, but I know most of you, most of my subscribers don't follow me on Twitter. But if you would like to, please do because that's where I talk about stuff and I share more more things there on Twitter in real time. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, go ahead. The link is in the description of this video. Okay, now I know they're floating, but I'm going to plant some plants or something in front of that to hide it because I don't want to bother glitching in another piece of wood. When, you know, why do that when you can just hide it, right? I'm going to do that. So I've got a plant mod that allows me to plant other types of plants, like asters and, you know, flowery types of plants. So I'm going to use it. I don't have a whole bunch of plants on hand, but I have a few. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so. The movie was cool. Um, it was very true to the lore of the games. I appreciated that very much because, you know, I'm a lore freak. I, I love lore and I, uh, I can't stand it when movies get the lore wrong. However, um, well, okay, I'll tell you the good. I'll tell you the good <laughs> first. Um, the fighting was cool. The free running, you know, the parkour, all that kind of thing. It was cool. I, I really liked it. It was a fun movie. It was fun to watch. It, it was two hours long and it did not feel like two hours long. Okay? It felt way less. It felt way shorter than that. And that's, that's good when you got a really long movie and then it doesn't feel as long as it is. That means the time just flew by and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, now... I was disappointed, though. These don't fit in there very well. Maybe I'll stick something else in there. I was disappointed. I, It wasn't everything I thought it would be. It wasn't everything I hoped it would be. Now, I didn't really go in with a lot of expectations, though. I really didn't. I kept my... my I kept my expectations very low because well it's just something I've learned to do over the years being disappointed too many times by different movies you know and games keep your expectations low and then you won't be disappointed as much so I expected them to ruin something and it's not like they ruined anything that's not what I mean what happened is they did not write a story for it. It has no story. It has no character development or story. And I'm a writer and that's very important to me. I cannot stand it when there's a story that doesn't have a story. And they also tried to tell too much. They also tried to put too much in such a short amount of time. And I think that's what sacri they sacrificed story for plot device. Um, and I think that was a bad idea. That was a bad move. You don't get to know the characters at all. Um, you know very little information about them. Even less about um, Aguilar, the guy from the past, the assassin. You know, you know, the only thing you know about him is that he's an assassin. And sort of a vague idea of why he became an assassin. But that's it. You don't know anything about, else about him. You don't know about his life. It doesn't follow his life at all. He's only in there a little bit, actually, compared to the main character, um, Callum Lynch, the guy from the present time. And he, his story is even really, really just truncated, I guess. It's just I was not satisfied with the small amount of story that they have in there. And so I was very disappointed about that. And it's unfortunate because this part of what I like about Assassin's Creed, you know, the games. Um, am I, what am I looking? I don't, I'm looking for, except I don't think, I don't think this is the, are they in miscellaneous? I'm looking for those kitchen counters. I think they're in miscellaneous. Um, Part of what I like about Assassin's Creed <clears throat> is that they are all about the story of the character, you know? The... Or are they? Yes, here they are, okay. You know, I need to glitch that in. The... Every single Assassin's Creed movie, or game rather, well, except maybe the first one. But, I don't know. I don't usually count the first one as among the greatest, because I didn't really care for it, but... Anyways... The... That last trader who came through here was telling me about the ghoul farm. The one west of Salem. He said they got a tarberry box set up in an old swimming pool. Hey, good for them. Nice to see them back on their feet after what happened in Diamond City. Tarberry bog in a pool. Wish I'd gone of that. Okay, my settler and my... Um... And my 
provisioner just decided to have a little chat. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Um, yeah, so the Assassin's Creed games are all about story. The, the story of how the character came to be an assassin or the story of how they deal with being an assassin or the story of how it affects their life, how it affects their family, how it affects their, you know, just whatever. It has, they have a journey, basically. The assassins, the assassin character has a journey and the character that you play in the present time doesn't so much. I mean, when you play Desmond in the earlier games, he kind of has a, a little bit of a journey. But even his is small compared to, uh, you know, Ezio's or Connor's or, um, you know, and then later they completely eliminate any story from the present time. And you only play the, the character from the past, except for this some mis mystery guy in an office that you don't even see his face or know his name it's probably you playing yourself or something that's what I've always guessed is what's going on but they really just focus on the story and the development of this historical character That and I like that, I, I love it I play the Assassin's Creed games because of its history because I am a history buff and I really just, I really enjoy them and it's just it's really unfortunate to me that they didn't do that for the movie. They they kind of fell flat with that. They don't go into any kind of... Like, you don't know anything about him. And it, it, it just really bugs me. So, anyways. That is my take on the Assassin's Creed movie. As a movie by itself, if you're not a fan of the games, um, you'll probably really enjoy it. Uh, you might enjoy it even... I mean, I enjoyed it. It was a fun movie to watch. I really enjoyed watching it. I just... I left feeling like it wasn't enough. Not because I wanted to watch it again, but because I wish there was, had been more included. Like, there, I felt like there was something missing. It's hard to, it's hard to explain... I don't know. Um, I'm trying to... There it is. Okay, I'm trying to find one of these things. I'm just... Um, trying to make it look like there's... I want to... I don't want to stick it like that, though. It's going to block the... the spigot. Um, so I'm going to have this be a little bottling kind of place, so... You know, whoever runs the, the pumps bottles up the water. And I'm going to make like a little bottling station here. You know. And then um, they will... They can ship it out. <coughs> Load it onto boats or whatever. You know, ship it around. Whatever. I am not going to decorate the whole thing right now because that'll take a while. And we are actually running low on time here. We actually... I have gone over my time, actually. So, I just got carried away talking and not really paying attention to what I was doing. So, um, oh, actually, let me put a door on there. I don't usually put doors on until I'm done. Because they get in my way uh, when I'm decorating. But I'll put a door on just right now for this one. I think I will put, um, let's see, maybe I'll put that one door, that, this one, there, there, what do you guys think of my little water, uh, facility kind of place, you know, what do you think? I like it. It's simple, but it's different. I like that it looks different. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, you guys. I, I'm sorry I kind of probably might have bummed you out about that movie. Go see it. 
don't don't let what I said stop you from going to see it if you haven't seen it yet because it was a lot of fun and you'll probably enjoy it even if even just you know despite the things that I said about it um, maybe you might not even care about the things that I said those that's just important to me but you know a lot of people I've heard a lots and lots of really good reviews about it from people who thought it was just perfect so you might think it's perfect and yeah no I'll see it again I definitely will see it again because I liked it I just I'm glad I didn't have my expectations too high because I would have been disappointed and I hope the sequel because I'm sure there will be a sequel the ending set up for a sequel really well so I hope they do better with the story in the sequel and that we learn more about the actual characters but anyways Anyway, you guys, that is all for this episode. And now remember to follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you want to, if you want to, you know, keep tabs on what I'm doing. I update all the time, every day, and also um, I post news about what I'm doing on there, you know, and about the channel. So if you <clears throat> want to hear updates on the channel, if I am missing videos or or whatever you know that's where you will find that information and until then you guys remember oh <laughs> wait I almost forgot the today's Q&A questions brought to you by these fine people can't forget you guys thank you for posting uh, Q&A questions I still have quite a few left because um, you guys gave me quite a few last time I asked and I still have quite a few left so you know unless you have a burning question I don't need any more for a while anyways that's it and I will see you next Monday in uh, the next build video until then you guys remember play safe play nice and have fun bye <laughs>